Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike Trade, and you're joining me for another video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you obtain the radio card here in Generation 2, and what the implications are for shiny hunting. But before I get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Soulblader, another awesome member of our community who actually recommended to me that I uh, do this video tutorial. So I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. Definitely go sub to him if you guys aren't already. He's an awesome individual, makes a lot of really great tutorials and shiny hunting videos of his own. So if you enjoy the content on this channel, you'll definitely enjoy his as well. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So we're going to speak to this woman here in the Goldenrod City uh, radio tower. And she's going to offer us a little quiz. If you answer five of her questions correctly, then she's going to give you a radio card. So the answers for that in order are yes, yes, no, yes, no. So you can see me answering those right here uh, as quickly as possible, <laughs> just to demonstrate. And there's no setup required for this whatsoever, you just have to be able to get to Goldenrod City, so pretty soon after you start the game you'll be able to use the shiny hunting method. But as you can see we just received the radio card there, so we're going to go outside and I'll show you what the implications of that are for shiny hunting. And also as you can see we're in the northwest portion of Goldenrod City here. So, um, you just go up into the radio tower, and you can do this literally at any point. It's super easy. But we're going to come down to the grass over here, and I'm going to open up the Poke Gear. And as you can see, if I thumb over to the right, we have this new radio. So, what this allows us to do is emulate an item that exists in Generation 3 onward. It's called the White Flute, and you guys are probably familiar with it if you've shiny hunted in those games. It's an item that doubles your encounter rate, which is really important when shiny hunting because you want to encounter Pokemon as efficiently as possible, right? Um, in this game, unfortunately, the White Flute does not exist, but if we tune over to channel 7.5, which is right there, you can see this music starts to play. This is called Pokemon March, and this has the exact same effect as White Flute. It actually doubles your encounter rate, and I want to show you, if you back out, that the music continues to play. Now, as a small caveat, um, if you need to leave the route that you're hunting on for whatever reason, maybe to go back to the Pokemon Center, for example, as you can see, when I go back into Goldenrod City and then back to the route, the music changes, which means that doubling effect is no longer happening, so it's important that you go back to Pokegear. And then, as long as you're hearing the Pokemon March play, that means that your encounter rate is doubled. This is really effective in Gen 2 especially because you can Repel Trick in this game, but as you may or may not know, Repel Tricks uh, very severely hamper your encounter rate, so counteracting that with the doubled encounter rate of Pokemon March is almost essential if you're going for really specific targets with a Repel Trick. But yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of encounters here. As you can see, we got one right away. Um, now, obviously, that's not perfect evidence that this is working. It's kind of hard to demonstrate that my encounter rate is uh, doubled, necessarily. But you'll just have to take my word for it that as this music is playing, your encounter rate is doubled. So, you should be encountering Pokémon relatively quickly. Uh, encounter rate in Gen 2 is, is still kind of low and slow, but that's okay. So, as you can see, we got a couple of quick encounters there. And, um, before we sign off, I just want to show you a couple more things, uh you know, that are relevant to Pokemon March here. So, as you saw, we went to channel 7.5. I just want to mention that this applies specifically to the Johto region. So if you're hunting in the post game, let's say you're in the Kanto region, and you're doing, um, you know, something over there, for whatever reason, the channel is actually going to be right about up here, uh, around like 18.5. There's no actual difference between the two channels. Uh, they play completely identically, but for whatever reason, they're different channels depending on the region that you're in. So once again, 18.5 if you're in Kanto, or all the way down here at 7.5 um, if you're in Johto, like I already demonstrated. The other thing to keep in mind too is that Pokemon March, unfortunately, only plays on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if it's not one of those days for you, you're going to have to change your in-game clock just to uh, you know shift over a day and then get this effect if you want to hunt on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. If you try playing this channel on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, it actually plays a song called Pokemon Lullaby, which has the exact opposite effect. It actually halves your encounter rate, so kind of nice for a casual playthrough, but doesn't really have a lot of implications for shiny hunting, so definitely want to make sure it's either a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday in your game. 
so that you get the proper song. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's tutorial. Uh, please let me know if you found this helpful, or if there are any other specific tutorial ideas that you have for me, I would love to make those for you. And also, if you'd like to watch a Shiny Hunt live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash MikeTroy34. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday uh, evening, we hunt there live, so feel free to join us, that would be awesome. But uh, yeah, definitely good luck on your hunts, guys. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.